generate PDF and HTML output for your standard work instructions. You do have to do a little bit of additional setup in your uh, work construction design. So to do that, you click on the file, you go to options, you select the settings, you either working with your work instructions or your packages. It's exactly the same in both cases. I'm going to open up one of my work instructions here and we select the work instructions. And what you have to do is you have to go to your template sheet. Right, you must use the template sheet here. And what you're going to do is you're going to highlight the area you want to include as output in both the um, HTML and the um, PDF here. So I'll find the lowest point here. And I like to come up this way because I can get it here. And I scroll up. Right? And then you're going to go to page layout. And you're going to say print area. And you say set the print area. And then what you want to do is you want to come over here to this little tab on the bottom right hand corner of the page set up here and click on that. Because you want your output to come out normally in landscape mode. You want it to fit one page, to one page, everything to go onto one page. You print, you select the size of paper you're going to be using. If it's non-standard, whatever is custom for your particular location there. You can also set the margins, you want to make them smaller and so forth. I'm just going to leave them here. So you set these up and you click on the OK and then you do a save. This is important because the configuration that you apply on the template page is the configuration that's going to be used in every page in your PDF and HTML output.